Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel, welcome to this video where we are gonna theoretically declutter palettes that I don't want to declutter, <laughs> I don't want to declutter. I recently saw a video over at my friend Linda from Glitter Fallout where she was like forcing herself theoretically, well not, what am, what am I doing air quotes, it's actually theoretically, wow, me not knowing how to use quotes. Forcing herself to declutter one palette from different brands even though she didn't want, like if she had to declutter a palette from each brand, what would she declutter? I'm not gonna do all brands because I have quite a large collection. So I have chosen 10 different palettes from 10 different brands that I would theoretically declutter if I had to declutter a palette from a brand. So <laughs> if you haven't been informed, if this is your first video here, hello, my name is Angie. I'm such a lover of beauty makeup. I love everything beauty makeup related. And for that reason, it's quite hard to, you know, kill your darlings. But if you wanna see some more makeup videos, don't forget to subscribe because I upload five videos a week. <laughs> Linda did say in her video that she was inspired by Betty Jean, so I will leave her video down below as well. So do check them out if you want it, if you want to see. When I saw this video from Linda, I was thinking, oh, I can never do that. I just did a big declutter because I recently moved continents. I moved with my husband who got a job in Austin, Texas. So I did a huge declutter in my collection because I was like, I can't bring all of this. And I actually decluttered a third of all my eyeshadow palettes. I have over 300 eyeshadow palettes and I decluttered over 100 eyeshadow palettes. And even though I decluttered over 100 eyeshadow palettes, I got a lot of comments on that video saying I didn't declutter enough. I declutter 100 eyeshadow palettes and they're like, eh, you should have thrown away more of your makeup that you paid for. <laughs> Weird. And then I thought maybe this video would be extra interesting just because I have just decluttered my collection. Because then I will have to literally declutter my darlings because these are all palettes that I I chose to bring these palettes across the world but if I really had to declutter one of the palettes from these 10 brands what would it be these are all brands that I love these are all brands that I have featured on my channel palettes that I really do enjoy but only one of these palettes is a new palette because I let's start with that First brand, and I, again, I could do this, I could literally do a round two because I have so many different brands. I love reviewing indie brands. First brand, Colourpop, and this is the All Amethyst palette. The reason why I would declutter this one is because I didn't think that this was amazing quality. And the only Colourpop palettes, for good reason, that I brought to the US are palettes that I thought were really good quality, palettes that I reach for, palettes that I love, and I tried, I bought this one after moving here, and I honestly don't think it's that good. Like, it's it's pretty mediocre. Some people really like it. I think that maybe we have different pressings, because I've seen people swatch this and they're like, it's amazing, but mine is so hard pressed, it's kind of hard to get it out of the pan. So if I had to decluster a palette from Colourpop, this would be it, because I honestly, I already know this isn't going to survive my next, next declutter, because I don't think this one is... Is that amazing? Next is Viseart. Viseart has slowly grown to be one of the formulas that I enjoy the most in my collection. I think Viseart has an amazing formula and I think for me one of the best things that they did is starting doing these smaller palettes. That's when I started buying them because I was like this is genius because for me having a large amount of products in a palette it's not a selling point for me. I'm not a working makeup artist anymore. I don't care how much product like grams per like dollar I get I don't care about that so when they started doing the small palettes I started buying quite a lot of them and I like each and every one of them but if I had to declutter one if this one that's covered in cat hair it would be this one this is the I think it's called Paris Edit it's nice but it is I have a few more neutral mini palettes from Viseart, but I think this is the one that I would declutter because this one has only one dark matte and I will say I really like the Viseart shimmers. I know some people say that they're a little lackluster. I think they are perfectly fine and I also think that they are extremely flattering. I will say the older I get, I'm 38, the older I get the more I realize that those really foiled creamy oily shimmers, they make my eyelids look 250 years old and I will say these are extremely flattering on the lid and I like this color story but if I had to declutter one it would probably be this one because this one has the least mattes that I would reach for if I'm gonna be totally honest. Then we have Nabla. I really like Nabla and I did declutter some of my Nabla palettes when I did my declutter and I was like oh I have to declutter another one 
Theoretically, I would declutter this one. This is the newest Nabla palette I have, and I know that I said in the review of these palettes that I really like the quality of this. This one is called the Nabla Cutie Palette in Midnight. I love good blue eyeshadow, but I feel like this one is the least innovative, the least new I, it doesn't really bring a new concept it's a pretty predictable color story and even though i love blue eyeshadows and really like the quality of this one this is the one that i would miss the least in my collection if i decluttered it this look by the way i filmed it with the kaleidos um nostalgia smoky nostalgia mm -mm. Is it called Smoky Nostalgia? I think it's called it that collection. I will leave the link to this look down below because it is live, I already posted it. This is my least used Nabla palette. It is my newest Nabla palette. And I just, if I, if I want a blue look for some reason, I don't reach for this one. I reach for my Colourpop Blue Moon. Because I think that that one has pretty much everything that I want in a blue palette. Let's talk about Kaleidos then. Kaleidos is one of my absolute favorite brands. I love Kaleidos. And when I looked at, because I have not decluttered a single Kaleidos palette. I love each and every one of my Kaleidos palettes. I have every one that they have released, including the Deep Sea Luster palette that they released before they became a little bit more popular. If I had to choose one, if I had to choose one, I would pick the Futurism 2 Cyber Bronze. And I think that this might be discontinued. This is the neutral palette that they had before they released these neutral palettes. And that is probably the reason why I would declutter this one, because this one for me, what's most impressive with this one is this silver metallic. And there is a really impressive, pretty much almost the same as this one in one of the quads that they just released. So I think that this one is the one that I would miss the least. And you will see this with a couple of the palettes that's upcoming that the one I choose to declutter is the neutral one because I reach for those the least. And I know for a lot of people, especially on YouTube, they will do something really adventurous. And then when they're actually out and about, they will wear something brown. I don't reach for browns really outside of YouTube either. So for that reason, this is probably my least reached for uh, Kaleidos palette. Great quality. But if I had to live without one of them, it would be that one. It's the same with Natasha Denona. Listen, I love Natasha Denona, and I even have quite a few of the Natasha Denona neutral palettes. If I had to, if I had to declutter one, it would be it would be the the glam face palette. This is my listen, listen. Let go of the keyboard. This is my reasoning. This is my reasoning. The main reason why I reach for this palette is for this highlighter. This highlighter is a new formula, very finely milled, almost creamy texture. It is beautiful. It is stunning. But I also feel like there is a big chance that she would release this one, that she would release this one as singles in the future. So maybe this is a gamble, but I will say the only thing that I would really, really miss in this palette is this highlighter. The shades are beautiful, but again, I don't reach for browns that often. If you look at this and you're like, wow, this is my, f like, this is the perfect palette. The quality is beautiful. But how often do I reach for this? Not often enough. Do love the highlighter though, but again, like if I had to live without one of my Natasha Denona palettes, it would be this one. And also this would like not disrupt my collection because this is the only one that has this format. All the other ones are like eyesh bigger eyeshadow palettes. Maybe that's a stupid reason. Don't come for me. Okay, 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 okay. Same reason with Melt. I love Melt. Melt, hmm. <clears throat> You know, Melt is that like on and off boyfriend that sometimes disappoints you and then they come back with flowers and you're like, everything is forgiven. <sighs> I have decluttered some Melt palettes. So the ones that I would have been easily like, oh, I don't need that one. I've already decluttered them before I moved here, but I'm gonna say the Mary Jane. And the main reason is that I have other palettes with this like neutral color scheme, like the cool tone neutrals, like the Nucleidos palette, like the Eternal Eclipse by Lunar Beauty that I really enjoy. So I don't think I would miss this one too much in my collection. And also this one is mainly shimmers. And I don't, I know some people really hated these shimmers. I didn't, I didn't feel that way. I thought the shimmers were good. Uh, I always spray my shimmers and I didn't really have a problem picking them up or have any excessive fallout. So that was not a problem that I encountered, but I think it depends on how like you work with eyeshadows. And I think that for me, they worked out perfectly fine. The, the mats are beautiful, but again, I think I get a similar result with other things in my collection. But I, I like it though, but again, the neutral. 
the neutral has to go. Should we do one more neutral and then like end with three colorful ones? Because it's it's being repetitive and we're seeing a pattern and it's the same with Glam Light. I really like the Glam Light formula. This is the chocolate martini. This was part of their cocktail collection. And I was debating on either, because I, I love the cake palette and I love the ice cream palette really like the um cocktail collection as well and i know i said i like this one more than i like the margarita palette but now that i look at it it is actually more probable that i will reach for the margarita palette as a compliment on its own if i'm only using one palette i do prefer this one over the margarita palette but if i can complement a mix and match palette the margarita palette has some really incredible almost neon pastel mattes and some really really good metallics so I think like as a complementary palette, that one is more my style than this one. That's why this one has to go, theoretically. Now we're getting into some Odin's Eye Cosmetics. Obviously, Odin's Eye Cosmetics is one of my absolute favorite brands. I do have a collab with them right now. Do I have a palette in front of me? Ooh, let me show you right here. It's the Odin's Eye and Angelica Nyqvist Hella palette. It is available right now if you're interested. So obviously it was really, really hard for me to get rid of some, like, some of the Odin's Eye because I mean, I really like the formula. I will say that Odin's Eye have gotten better and better and better with time. It seems like some indie brands are just determined to not stop at good, but try and like excel. They're trying to strive towards even better. And I remember this collection. I think this was, yeah, the Elva 2, the Elva 2 collection. And I remember I really liked these, but I wasn't a million percent in love with all the color combos, especially some of these uh, six pans. I think these shadows are beautiful, especially the shimmers are so impactful and so beautiful. But I don't reach for this palette because there are three neutrals and I'm not the biggest neutral fan. Then there is one green and if I'm gonna have a green shimmer, I will probably reach into another palette. And turquoise is actually not my favorite tone of blue. Usually I don't go for turquoises when I'm going with like blues and also for me, this is a palette that's lacking a little bit of depth to be a standalone palette for me and my liking. I know for some people, they're like, oh, this is perfect, not too deep. Listen, I hear you out there. There's a couple of you out there that's always commenting, we don't like dark eyeshadows. I'm not that person. I like dark eyeshadows. So for me, I think that this one would have to go. This one is called the uh, Mini Forest palette. So it's nice, but if I had to theoretically get rid of one, I think it will be that one. Next is Ace Beauté. Ace Beauté, another brand that was like, we can do better. So they actually reformulated some of their older palettes to have a new, improved, and if I'm gonna be honest, in my humble opinion, extremely improved formula. Like, it's really a lot better. And I have a couple of their palettes. I have ordered the newest palette, and I'm not sure if I've received that as you're seeing this, but my shipping says that I should be receiving it either well, soon, soon. So maybe that video is already up as you're seeing that. Uh, what is that one called? I don't even remember, you know, the green one. Love me some green. If I had to declutter one of their palettes, I think it would be this one. This one is called the Flare Palette. This formula is beautiful. I think the formula is so great, but I think the color stories of the other palettes are more unique and interesting like unique to my collection. I think that this is a little bit of a almost like grungy, but still a little bit leaning a little neon of the rainbow palette because it has the blues and the greens and the purple and almost like red yellow leaning, but it's a little grungy and then the pop of the almost neon green. I think it's very interesting, but I think that if I had to live without this palette, I would be able to create something similar in my collection. So I think that if I had to get rid of one, it would be this one because oh boy they have some really really good color stories oh and i cannot wait to try that new one mm, what is it called tropical something you know that one the tropical one okay now we're getting in, into like pure heartbreak because we're going to talk about bh cosmetics bh cosmetics is in have i said that about all of these brands i think these are like 10 of my favorite makeup brands is that not crazy BH Cosmetics, one of my favorite brands. Uh, it's not looking good for them. They did file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, which basically means like, oh, we need a break. We need to like collect our thoughts, collect our assets and see if we can get ourselves out of this financial hardship that we have gotten ourselves into. And it's making me sad because I love their eyeshadow formula so, so much. 
If I had to declutter one of my BH Cosmetics palettes, and I mean, I already did declutter and I saved most of them because I really love their formula, I would declutter this one. This is the newest holiday palette. This is the one that was for 2021. This is the Miss Klaus the lit list and the main reason why i would declutter this is because it is very holiday themed and it also has one press glitter not that that matters really but i have so many beach cosmetics palettes that i really love and they're also part of a series like i have all of the travel palettes i have all of the birthstone palettes i have all of the brunch palettes like they're part of a series and maybe i'm a little bit of a collector because i don't want to break up the series if i didn't have this one to declutter i would probably declutter the hanging hawaii because it's very mid-tone browns with some pinks but this is like a holiday palette limited edition christmas theme palette from last year so i think that's the reason why it has to go it's also very big and i know this is beautiful and here's the thing i never throw away makeup i always give away makeup i have so many people around me that get a lot of like gifts from me and i know that there's going to be someone around me that's going to look at this palette and be like wow this is perfect it's everything i ever wanted and the quality is amazing and i know if i'm going to be honest that this one will probably not survive the 2022 declutter i'm not sad that i reviewed it it is great quality if you bought this on my recommendation i hope you love big palettes i really do but it's hard because I love BH Cosmetics and I'm so sad that there's a risk that they're going. Oh, oh my God. I had like a silent goal for myself. I'm like, oh, 2022 is going to be the year when I catch BH Cosmetics like attention. Like maybe they'll send me PR. <laughs> they're like, bye, bitch. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again tomorrow for a new video. Bye.